The Cadets entered Saturday's ECFC opener against Mount Ida on the heels of three straight victories, defeating Western New England, St. Lawrence, and WPI. Norwich has started 2012 the same way it ended 2011, rushing effectively. Coming into this weekend, Norwich leads the conference, averaging more than 270 yards per game on the ground. Expect the Cadets to utilize that attack again as Mount Ida allows them almost 240 yards per game. Norwich will look to its three-headed monster of quarterback Chris Sabrin and running backs Danny Triplett and Mike Cavanaugh. Sabrin, who is just one big game away from breaking the school's all-time rushing record. The Cadets will likely utilize a series of options and draws to get Sabrin a chance to make plays with his feet. Triplett garnered League's Player of the Week honors two weeks ago after a 147-yard, two-touchdown performance versus WPI, including the game's ceiling 40-yard run. He's a big bruising back capable of driving the defense up the middle or he can use his speed to break tackles to get to the edge. Kavanaugh should see significant carries as well. If the cadets go to the air, Sabrin will likely be looking for Zach Allen as the junior has become his favorite target. He has good hands and the ability to stretch the defense and has a 100 yard game to his credit already. He's a home run threat for Norwich, as is Derek Pitts. Pitts will split time between the backfield and slot positions, has breakaway speed, and loves to get to the outside. He can also impact the game on special teams and will be a major factor in the punt return game, as he's constantly a threat to give Norwich favorable field position. Defensively, Norwich will have their hands full with Mount Ida quarterback Scott Drosendahl. The senior is a major reason why the Mustangs are second in the ECFC in scoring and yards per game and third in passing. Mustangs are also balanced offensively, also boasting a potent rushing attack, but the Cadets are number one in the conference against the run, and if they can take away one aspect of Mount Ida's game, they put themselves in great position. Whichever team can control the tempo early on has the definite edge. Look for the Cadets' pass rush to try to disrupt Rosendahl all day, as they did two weeks ago against WPI. Look how no one from the engineer's line picks up John Toronto, who comes unevaded to the quarterback. The Cadets will have to live in the backfield. Mount Ida will have to be sure of its protection to keep Rosenthal safe. If Norwich can get to the quarterback, the secondary could have a big game. Look for Nate Forteza to be a major factor on the outside, and the Cadets are not afraid to be physical in the middle of the field. Norwich has won four of the last five meetings between these teams. Let's take a look inside the numbers to get you ready for kickoff.